Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Book 2 Unit 8 Whose and Possessive Pronouns Dear students in this unit we will study about whose and possessive pronouns let's look at the objectives of this unit after completing this unit you will be able to identify possessive pronouns in a sentence and have knowledge of order of adjectives and pronouns one and once okay now let's move into the lesson for example whose coat is this okay whose jewelry is this whose clothes are these okay now it is my coat okay it is mine okay whose coat is this it's my coat it's mine okay so what is my here it is my coat okay what is my here my is an adjective here okay it's mine okay what's mine here mine is the possessive pronoun okay so it's my coat it's mine let's look at some more example they are your earrings okay they are your earrings they are yours okay so what is your here this your is possessive adjective okay and this is possessive pronoun let's look at more example it's her jewelry it's hers okay it's her jewelry it's hers they are his shoes they are his okay they are our things they are ours it's their stuff it's theirs okay so here in all these sentences my your her his our and their it they are all all these here okay they are possessive adjectives these words describe possessive adjectives and all these mine yours okay hers his ours theirs all these are possessive pronouns okay now where do we use possessive pronoun we use possessive pronoun instead of a noun we use this instead of a noun now where do we use possessive adjective okay where do we use possessive adjectives we use we use possessive adjectives okay to describe a noun okay so we use possessive adjective to describe a noun and it comes before noun okay so you can see here coat earrings jewelry shoes things stuff these are all noun and the possessive adjectives like my your her his our there comes before noun okay so hope you have got an idea about possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns let's move to the next part of this unit okay here we will see usual adjective order and we will also see about opinion size color shape nationality material things etc okay let's look at the first sentence they have beautiful Turkish rugs okay they have beautiful Turkish rugs so this is the adjective here okay rugs is the noun so an adjective 
always describes a noun okay so how is the rug they are beautiful Turkish I like the big red rug okay now what's the noun here rug I like the big red rug so this is an adjective big red this describes the noun rug I want those cute little round speakers okay so cute little round this is an adjective okay and speakers is the noun now I like the green green rug which one do you like I like the blue one in the middle those speakers are cool which ones do you like I like the silver ones on the right okay now what does this one means here okay one or ones means here okay usually this one or ones they are used okay they are used for a noun okay that has already been mentioned okay so we use one or ones for a noun that has already been men mentioned so if you see here I like the green rug okay so what is the noun here rug which one do you like so here one refers to the rug the noun rug okay so we use one in place of a noun that has already been mentioned okay or it is known in the situation you from the situation you understand okay and we also use you know to contrast two things of the same kind okay we contrast two things of the same kind for example if I give you another example like uh, are the new curtains longer than the old ones are the new curtains longer than the old ones so here we are contrasting okay we are using ones for curtains new and old okay are the new curtains longer than the old ones okay so here we are contrasting curtains new and old okay using the word ones instead of a noun okay Hope you have enjoyed your lesson. This is all for today. Have a nice day. See you in the next class.